this video I'm going to cover our first naming system. Before you view this video and try to figure it out, go back and look at the video on half ball hits because some of the basis of this kind of comes out of those half ball hits and recognizing them. Now, the second thing is if you're going to do with these video systems or aiming systems, try one and stick with it for a little while. If you're trying to bounce between one and another, some of them are stick aiming systems, which this video is going to be. Others are based on where your eyes are. And if you try to go back and forth, you're in a struggle to get things lined up and do the right thing. The next thing to say about aiming systems is you've got to trust the system and execute what the system says. For advanced players, a lot of them struggle to implement this because they want to mix what they've always done with what the system is and kind of create something new that just doesn't work. So you have to follow the steps, step by step, and do the system exactly as prescribed, otherwise it doesn't work. One time we did a class and we had a very advanced player who really struggled with the aiming systems. He wasn't able to get very far with it and he was uh, getting pretty frustrated with the idea of the aiming systems. And then we had a beginner in the same class and for two days, he went through the fundamentals and the controlling the balls. And when he got to the aiming systems, all of a sudden he couldn't miss. And he was just giggling up continuously the whole time there. Um, so give it a chance. Try it out. Uh, stick with one for a while. If you're switching between, I'm going to introduce ultimately the shish kebab aiming system that I'm going to show you here, which is a stick aiming system. And I'll also show center to edge in another video. If you're doing these two, between them, go back and just do a bunch of half ball hits, which kind of break you of the habit of um, trying to use either system and prepare you to have better success. If you try to go from one to the other, like I said, you're gonna be looking at the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing. One is stick aiming and one is basically using your eyes. Okay, the point of the stick aiming system is to make this as simple as possible. This doesn't sound like it'll work, but if you stick with it, uh, I assure you it's amazing. It, the balls just seem to go in the pocket. It doesn't make sense. A lot of what's happening is subconsciously you're taking over and you're kind of using your subconscious. It allows it to decide when the shot's right and you can shoot from there. All right, so like I said, this one is a stick aiming system. So what we're always gonna do is I've set up a one, two, and a three ball, and they represent three different shots. The one is relatively straight. It's not straight. They're all going basically to the right. Uh, the two is our half ball hit, or 30 degree cut that we've covered in our previous video. And the three is kind of a thin cut. Um, it's not super thin. I'm just illustrating the point. This will work on other angles, but these are just a couple to show you the basic idea. All right, that being said, first of all, you gotta recognize whether it's a 30 degree cut or is it a fuller hit than that or straighter than that or is it a thinner cut than that? So once you get that, you can basically use the system. Okay, let's start with the one ball. So we're basically lining up through the inside of the cue ball always kind of going through the inside of the cue ball. So the camera or the table level camera is going to pick that up. We're going through the inside of the cue ball towards the center of the one. Kind of going through the inside of the cue ball. Then I pivot towards the center of the cue ball. Stroke back, stroke forward, and that ball. So the key is in that pivot. And we're going to pivot till it looks right. So we're pivoting towards the center but we're gonna stop when it kind of looks right. So, kind of going through the inside of the cue ball to the center of the one, pivot a little bit, back, throw. The same ball in the same spot. Through the inside of the cue ball to the center of the two, pivot, throw. Inside of the cue ball to the center of the three, Pivot, stroke. So through the inside of the cue ball towards the center of the three, pivot till it looks right. Stroke right down that line. For the thin cut, 
instead of doing the inside of the cue ball to the center of the three, I'm just going to go from the inside of the cue ball to the outside edge of the three. And then I'm going to do the same process. So I set up on the inside, I'm going to the outside edge, the inside of the cue ball towards the edge of the three, pivot, stroke. Side of the cue ball to the edge of the two, pivot towards the center, and then stroke. Inside of the cue ball to the outside part of the one, pivot, stroke right down that way. The system basically taps into your subconscious mind. So you're using that huge part of the mind that you don't normally tap into to decide when this is the right time to shoot or when you're lined up correctly. On the half ball hit, which is our two ball, um, or that 30 degree typical cut, you can kind of modify this a little bit and basically go, instead of going to the center of the one or the outside edge of the three, you can kind of go for about a quarter of the two when you set up. So I can go through the inside part of the cue ball to the outside part of the two, but still in it, pivot a little bit, and stroke.